you know, but, but the problem, they don't understand that because it's like me, I have somebody, I slapped him on the face, he turned to me and say, why don't you hit the other face? Then I'll hit him on the other side too. No, so, no, no. So, no, so no. He, I get my power from his weakness. Uh, let me tell you that. Uh, uh, why you, uh, some, uh, uh, a journalist asked me from ABC at the time of uh, uh, the martyr of uh, uh, the family in Jersey City, I don't remember, uh, Armanios family, and he asked me, why you all Coptic, uh, you always do a big uh, uh, gathering, a big shouting, a big uh, protesting against the, the Egyptian government. I told him, we didn't, we never do this for the Egyptian government. The Egyptian government itself allow, allowed us to do that. He got shot. How come? I start to, to tell him, uh, like I told, if they don't, if they stop killing our people over there, we never gonna do anything. If they stop kidnap the, the girls, we never gonna ask for uh, not kidnapping. Uh, kidnapping. Uh, if they uh, they they stop burning the church, we never gonna do. It. But Mubarak himself and his regime, who is the one, let us do whatever we are doing right now. Because like I told, if they stop doing that, we never gonna find something to say. I guess you're missing the point. The, the point is very simple. If you are weak, expect people to take over you, to overcome you. You have to overcome your weakness, that's number one. Then you have to overcome the adversary. If you don't do that, then you're gonna stay on the bottom all your life. It's very simple, you have to carry the big stick. The big stick have a lot of meanings. And I hope this is a very clear message to the government in Egypt and any other government. We are not reacting to their reaction. We have inherited rights. These inherited rights have to be accomplished, or otherwise we don't have to uh, express ourselves to do that. But there's, there's scientific plans to be done. On the long term, we will overcome not only our weakness, but our adversaries. So there will be no adversaries whatsoever, and their actions will be moot, and their actions will be weak, and they will be at the bottom, not us at the bottom. We will be floating on the top. Okay. That's but, the bottom line. But, but let me just explain this to you. You mentioned three times, if you are weak, the people take over you. That's when I'm weak and somebody take over me, this is a coward man or a coward regime. There is too many weak people here in America. Did you hear about anyone who took over any weak man or any weak? We have homeless in the streets. Did you see anyone take over them? No, this is a you nice yourself. Country. This is a wise country. You can't compare. Listen, nice let me finish, world, please. You country. yourself, you have a very nice house. It cost you over three hundred thousand dollars. And the homeless came live in it. What did the police tell told you? Yeah, so they have rights. <laughs> it's, it's, so, you are you, in a different country. You are in a civilized country. They are not that civilized. So, so we talking about a different Islamic country, which is civilized in the whole world. There's not even one. They don't exist. They don't understand it. They have a dictatorship where where the the governor takes over the country put everybody down so he can keep his seat. It's very simple. You have to change the, the, the mentality of the people. You have to change their spirit. If you have a free spirit, then you can do many things. But if you don't have a free spirit, you can't do anything. And that's why this government try to deprive you of your free spirit, try to deprive you of the financial power that you can stand and say, I have the money, I'm going to fight you back. They deprive you from your political power, so you don't have even representation in the, in the parliament that somebody will say, I object. What this Georgette Eldini have done is marvelous. She's a professor, she has guts, 
and we all admire her. The, 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 the problem we have, again, we need to carry that big stick. Okay, beside the big stick, we have three minutes. In this three minutes, I need two things from you. Number one, to send a message to Mr. Samah Shukri, the Egyptian ambassador, and another message to the world for uh, the Coptic crisis. For Samah Shukri, we thank him for the meeting, but if the meeting is non-productive, it's useless. Uh, I, I hope that was an introduction, a note to the government of Egypt, and this government of Egypt, they don't listen, we cannot let them listen. We have two patriots here, who are married to two ladies here. The United States, our own country now, and our previous country where we were born is Egypt. So we have to combine our, our patriotism for both of them. When I go to the America, or the American people ask for help, I'm not going against the other country. This are my country as well. And I'm an American citizen, I'm proud of it. But the, the, the world have to take notes also. And we have to go to the United Nations. We have to, to express our feelings. The whole world have to take notice through uh, journalism, through uh, press releases, through these meetings, the world have to hear us, period. All right, uh, thank you very much for being with us, uh, Dr. Zak, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, being listening to us. We, we, we feel that we are uh, pleased for uh, this program and we will see you again in our uh, uh, Coptic Crisis uh, program. Good night. Thank you.